Pitch Prop and Health Solutions. And today we're going to look at another portion of the Cam Assist add on for Mastercam uh, the Psycho Time Estimator. This allows the user to process multiple part files. Uh, it will process the tool paths. It will give us those Psycho Time estimates for each part, for each tool path. And then we can export those into like an Excel document. Um, so let's look at how that works. So I have three parts that I'm going to work with today. We're just going to look at those individually and see the uh, setups that we have to do within those. So there's my first part. And you'll notice I have two machine groups. So uh, if, if I only put one machine group in here, it would only want to process the tool pass on this upper portion or this top portion of it. But by adding the second machine group, it's going to look at the remaining material and then process what it can on the second side. So two machine groups, and then within each one of those machine groups, we have a little bit more setup to do in our machine group setup. I need to choose uh, my master model, and I need to choose my stock. So I have my stock set up for that one. Go into this one. I have my master model chosen and my stock set up for that one. So that's part one. I have two more parts. Just look at those. There's my second part. So it'll do both sides. I have two groups. Setup is complete in both of those. And there's the last one. So everything's set up. Um, my parts are in a separate folder. So all I did is I put those into a separate folder because all these files are going to be overwritten by the um, the estimator. Once it runs through, once we run through the estimator, it's going to overwrite all these part files. So I like to have those uh, in separate files to be able to, to just work with backup. So I'm not overwriting anything. Okay, so I'm going to start on a new file. No machine group is uh, selected or no machines loaded. I'm just going to write into that psycho time estimator and then choose that folder. So I have that folder there. So the estimator looks in that folder, checks out what, um, what files are in there and brings them up in here. Now, if you had more than 10 files, um, then you'd get a warning because the estimator can only uh, process 10 files at a time. So then you'd have to use these various icons here to remove whatever ones you don't want to process, just to get it within that limit. And then you can see the warning that I get here that the files in the selected folder will be overwritten when the psycho time estimator runs. Um, and then there's not a lot of setup that we're going to do here. So we have our Tool database selected. We have uh, the number of tools are shown, so it gives us a summary of how many tools it can utilize within that database. And then we have our material and our machining mode. So we're going to leave those all at default. And then I'm just going to choose this run button. So it's going to bring those parts individually um, into Mastercam. And then the add on will process those and um, group up all those tool paths accordingly, just like it does in the um, the add-on, Cam Assist add-on. Okay, the first part is done, and then the second part gets brought in, and the same process is repeated for that one. Okay, and then finally that third part gets brought in and processed, and then we can see I get a a message here that uh, it finished three parts, 66 operations were completed, and 185 of 185 surfaces were machined. So let's look at each one of those. You can see we get, now we get a summary of each part. So part one is telling us it's going to take roughly 20 minutes to do that part, 13 minutes for the first group, five minutes for the second group. And then it gives me the uh, machine faces, so 81 machine faces. And then part two, part three does the same. And then if I go into my toolpath manager, 
this is a part that's currently loaded. So then you can see all my tool paths that are completed here. And it's how it's grouped it out. And then I can go back into that estimator and say maybe I want to look at part two. So there's a completed part. I go into my tool path and then I have all my tool paths for each group already set up. And then part one is the last one. There we go. Go back into my tool paths and I can see all the tool paths created for both groups in that one. So now those files are saved. They're, like I said, they're already overwritten. We've got this file. It's a good starting point for our uh, machining process. Uh, now the last thing is we want to maybe export this out. I'm going to go to the export tab. And this is where I can choose uh, the quantity of the files that I want to work with. So maybe part one, I need uh, four of those. Uh, maybe part two, I need um, three. And part three, I need five. So we can export these results now. So we can choose our file. So I'm just going to leave it at the same file folder. And then I can choose a name for it. I'll just leave it at default for now. And I'm going to go export results. And it gives me those results. I'm just going to bring my folder over. So now you can see each, each one's been completed. And now I have this cycle time results. So if I double click that, I'm just going to open that in Excel. Let me open this up a little bit wider just to give us a better look at what it's showing. So there we go. Part one is 19 minutes, six seconds. But I want four total parts. So it's going to take about an hour and 16 minutes to do that. Um, and then it'll give me my stock size. It'll give me the number of machine faces. And then it breaks it right down into each individual tool path on how much um, time those ones take. And I'll do the same for machine group two. And then part two, it moves on to part two. So part two, I wanted three of those, about an hour and seven minutes to do those three. And then I get the breakdown of those, uh, those other tool paths. And the same with part three, completes that and gets the breakdown. So that add-on gives us those completed files and it gives us that report that we can work from. And that is the cycle time estimator for Cam Assist in MasterCam.